Good evening. Are you ready to do chapter 6 in the epically boring, boring bar holder remake video? Haven't touched the lathe for a couple of months because it was winter. But it's almost springtime again. We had some nice weather today. And I'm feeling ready to uh, make this final chapter because I got some uh, unfinished work here. Um, first let me bring in the uh, light stand. That's part one. And here's the second part. This whole setup became rather heavy for me last winter because it turns out I had a serious uh, vitamin D deficiency. And here's the power cable. And there's the light. So yeah, I always uh, thought I was uh, suffering from uh, uh, rheumatism based on a uh, previous uh, a test result from a few years ago but it turns out it was just a uh, vitamin D deficiency it's kind of fucked up that uh, it took all those doctors so long to find it out but I should be able to uh, make a full recovery well I hope I will and then uh, I will start uh, making some more videos right chapter 6 Let's see, the last time I was uh, working on this boring bar holder I kind of screwed up and one of the uh, set screws wasn't really uh, doing anything. So that is uh, something that needs to be addressed. And I will uh, also have to do some uh, testing with this uh, new toy. There are a few things I want to test uh, in this video. I want to shoot the whole video with a 25mm uh, Olympus uh, uh, prime focus lens that I won in a uh, photography contest years ago. I never tried it for making videos but uh, it should uh, suck up a whole lot more light than uh, the other zoom lens and it is kind of dark in here so we probably need all the light we can get. Um, I might also uh, throw in a couple of wide angle shots with my old Panasonic G3 camera. And I will also be using the digital teleconverter function to get uh, a little closer to the uh, subject. And by the way, you're currently watching at a uh, zoomed in uh, shot with the uh, digital teleconverter function. Now there are a few more things that I want to try out during this uh, video, but uh, I will not bore you with the details. So I think I will have to uh, insert a new set screw over here. I thought about hacking off a little piece at the end here, so it will be uh, nice and pretty again. But to be honest, I'm not really bothered with that uh, set screw that isn't uh, working. It is more important that the uh, boring bar holder is working. So I think we will have to start with uh, drilling in a fifth hole and then uh, threading it. So I think we'll have to continue this uh, at the drill press. So it's probably a good idea to make a little punch mark before I start uh, drilling and I did check this is the uh, set screw that isn't uh, engaging and of course my carbide scribe is uh, a wall so I will have to use uh, this blunt instrument hopefully I can get the punch mark at the uh, correct location. 
I think that worked out fine. Make it a little bit deeper. Okay, now we move to the uh, drill press. So here we are back again at my uh, awesome Chinesium drill press. And hopefully it uh, survives the winter. Because we had some uh, frost last week. And sometimes things break when they freeze. So the last time I was uh, drilling a couple of holes in this boring bar holder. I kind of screwed up and broke a couple of drill bits. Because I was uh, stubborn and didn't uh, set up the drill press voice. Let's not make that mistake again. And if I remember correctly, I needed a 3.2 millimeter drill bit. So let's uh, set that up. And I don't think I will have to raise the table. I just need to make sure that I do not forget to tighten up the drill chuck. But I'm sure I will forget at some point this year. I did uh, move this punch mark just a little bit because it was rather close to the uh, other set screw. Some dyno droppings. And let's see if this beast will still run. There she goes. Business as usual. And we're through! First machining of the year complete. I guess now we'll have to move back to the uh, vise and start tapping. I almost forgot to chamfer the hole we just drilled. That way it uh, will be a little bit easier to uh, Start the uh, tap. So nice and clean, just like a pro, but not really. So I'm back at the vise and I'm ready to uh, start threading this with this uh, old tapered tab. I should probably use some uh, motor oil because I still haven't bought any uh, special tapping uh, oil or threading oil or whatever that juice is called. Trying to get this in as straight as possible and hopefully because it is a tapered tab it will uh, line itself up here we go that's far enough backing it out again And now I should probably use some compressed air, but to be honest I'm not looking forward to uh, starting the compressor motor. 
so that will have to be enough now I'm going to try and finish this uh, thread using uh, one of these uh, cheap chinesium spiral tabs and I'm hoping I can uh, line it up with the uh, thread I just uh, cut with the uh, taper tab although I'm not feeling it but I'm pretty sure I did the same thing uh, for the other set screws and if you're just uh, somehow stumbled upon this channel I'm uh, making an uh, M4 thread here a little bit of motor oil again maybe it helps and we can all use a little help from time to time not sure if this is going to line up perfectly but looking at it from all angles it looks okay so let's go for it it's uh, easy to break these uh, small spiral tabs the first tab I ever broke was an uh, M3 spiral tab from the same set I think I'm all the way through okay let's hope this uh, new set screw works better than uh, the other one so here's the boring bar again and it doesn't want to go all the way through probably because the uh, new set screw hole left some nasties so I set up a cheap reamer in this drill chuck and now I'm going to re-ream the hole by hand there's no point in doing this uh, on the lathe or on the drill press I think it's already done backing out well continuing turning the reamer I got some nasties so I'm sure uh, that was a successful job. Let's find out if the uh, boring bar will go in now. I think I'm hitting the uh, set screws on the other side. Like a glove. All right. So now let's uh, move this set screw to the new uh, location yep that definitely works better than the old hole I think that was uh, my first successful machining job of the year Hopefully a few more will follow. Let's install the boring bar holder on the lathe so I can set the pointy bit to center height and check out if, uh, if my new set screw is working. And I will use the uh, Tilstock Life Center as a reference for the center height. So I've been asking myself how much of an influence the, uh, the rotating of the boring bar holder will have on the uh, uh, geometry of the uh, insert. Will it uh, negatively impact the uh, working of the insert? I don't know. 
I guess uh, we will find out eventually. I will say that the uh, effect of rotating the boring bar holder is, uh, is, is larger on these uh, smaller uh, diameter boring bars. It is definitely more noticeable on this uh, small boring bar holder compared to a uh, bigger boring bar holder. Although this one is also relatively small, 10 millimeters. So I think that's about center height. And good news, the new set screw seems to engage just fine. So I'm tightening things up. Now some say you should uh, place these uh, small boring bars well above center height. I'm not really sure about that uh, theory. I think it is an uh, experience kind of thing. The more you use it, the better you get at it. So, that should be tight enough. With everything set up, I should be ready for some testing. But uh, first I need to chop off a piece of uh, scraptonium to test with. I guess I will have to continue this uh, story another night. Because it's late already and it is still a bit cold in here. Let's move this shit show production to the room next door where my laptop is waiting for me so I can uh, check up on the recordings that I made so far. I guess we need some lights. Handheld filming. Kinda difficult. So here's my old Fujitsu laptop. Let's quickly download everything and check the recordings. I'm using a cable, so I don't have to take the camera off the tripod. It's a bit slow, but it's still quicker than going inside and use the desktop computer. Perfect for a tea break. It's a few days later, and I had a quick look at the recordings and did some basic editing. The video is far from finished, and I will probably use my quicker desktop computer for some final touches. But the most important reason for this laptop is to have a backup. Too often did I lose data due to mistakes or failures. And I hope that by using this laptop that will be a thing of the past. By the way, what you're seeing now is the upcoming scene. So let's continue this uh, shit show. So, after that little uh, voiceover uh, scene, how an old laptop is going to help me make uh, better videos. It is now time to hack off a piece of scraptonium so I can test that little boring bar. It will also be the perfect opportunity to show off my new clogs. Let's move to the hacksaw.
Now let's go back to the table so I can unload this uh, artistic gold onto my laptop. Back on the table after securing my data. And here's that piece I just hacked off. And I brought my little boring bar because I want to know what the minimum hole size is that I can use uh, with this little boring bar. 9 point something. I say we go for a uh, 9mm hole and see where uh, that will take us. My tea is getting cold. And I am getting cold. I just checked the barn doors and they are only 5 degrees. Because, well, it is late and it is still winter. Um, for the next part in this uh, chapter, I need to move my production to the room next door so I can drill a hole in this uh, piece of scriptonium. But I don't feel like doing that uh, right now. <laughs>